So the Warzone 2 release date has been leaked and it's sooner than you might think, let's talk about it. So a couple of days ago a document screenshot was released leaking the information that Warzone 2 will be releasing on the 16th of November. Now this comes from a reddit post shared over on r slash classic wow, this screenshot outlines all of the Activision Blizzard upcoming releases for the rest of the year, mainly focusing on World of Warcraft, but since the merge of the two companies they've included Call of Duty on the list too. And this also kind of comes off the back of the announcement that if you pre-order the digital version of Modern Warfare 2 you will be able to get access to the campaign up to 8 days early. But back to the topic in hand, what does the release schedule for Modern Warfare 2 2022 and Warzone 2 now look like? And I'll put it up on screen for you guys now. On the 15th of September, we're getting the Call of Duty next event. This will most likely be where they drop the gameplay for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. Then we have the PlayStation exclusive beta weekend running from the 16th to the 20th of September. Then we have the crossplay beta weekend running from the 22nd to the 26th of September. And then we have the campaign early access launching on the 20th of October. This is the digital exclusive. And then of course we have the Modern Warfare 2 launch on October 28th. And now if we add a touch of our leaked information to this poster, we can stretch it out and make an updated road to launch poster, including the Warzone 2 launch. Now this is actually the second leak that points towards a November release. A few weeks back, Facewag discussed the release date live on stream with Tim the Tapman. I was telling, I was talking, who's I talking? Oh, I was talking to Tyler about this this morning. I'm like, dude, I think there's going to be a gap between Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. And I'm going to have to <laughs> figure out how to make content on Modern Warfare 2, bro, because I don't think I can continue. It's like, only going to be a month. Know. It's only going to be a month. Are you sure? I'm hearing not that. In this video, Swag is suggesting that it will only be one month in between the release of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2, backing up the information that was leaked a few days ago. So is this good or is this bad? And personally, I think it's only good in one way and bad in a lot of ways. The upside to this is we get Warzone 2 sooner than we might have expected. I was thinking Christmas 2022 with the earliest for Warzone 2, considering Warzone 1, we'll call it, Warzone Original, Warzone Classic, whatever you want to call it, released roughly four to five months after the release of Modern Warfare 2019. I thought we might squeeze it in before the end of the year, but certainly not a month later. Now the downside, and there are a few more downsides than upsides with this. Number one, and the biggest question we need answering is, is it going to be ready or are they going to go for a money grab release where all they care about is microtransaction profits to prop up their 2020 financial year? Warzone 1 released with its fair share of problems and that was five months later. Is this game going to be decently polished or is it basically going to be a beta released early to boost profit? And then number two, will it completely overshadow the hype surrounding Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 2 being the fully paid AAA title, will Warzone 2 be the main reason why people are playing Call of Duty? If so, then we're risking having a Call of Duty game that has been years in the making, massively hyped up over the last couple of weeks, and then to be completely dismissed in a matter of, well, in reality, 20 days in between the two? This could mean that the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2 could be 20 days, maybe a month, before the large majority of players have moved over to Warzone 2. If this happens, then in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2 dies. All it becomes is a gateway for players to grind out camos, XP, weapon XP, weapon levels, so that it can be transferred over to Warzone, completely leaving the traditional 6v6 Call of Duty fans left in the dust. The majority of players will only want to play the smallest maps on the most chaotic game modes to min-max their time on Modern Warfare 2, minimise the effort, maximise the rewards, and then the ground war community, the S&D community, the hardcore community all take a hit because of the way Call of Duty is integrated. Now the harsh truth behind this is at the time of writing this script, Warzone currently has 40,000 viewers on Twitch compared to the 2.8 thousand watching Modern Warfare 2019. 781 watching Cold War and 723 watching Vanguard. There's still eight times more people interested in watching Warzone on Twitch 
than there is for all three of the recent Call of Duty titles, and that kind of reiterates the fact that the majority of Call of Duty players these days are mainly focused on Warzone, which points us down the direction of Modern Warfare 2 being left for dead as the masses move to Warzone 2 and the game basically becomes a $100 pathway so that Warzone 2 can be enjoyable. Now, one of the other issues I was thinking about is this release schedule seems to line up perfectly with the holiday calendar for the end of the year. Can anyone remember when they dropped Vanguard in basically an alpha state, integrated Warzone with Vanguard, and then went on vacation for Thanksgiving all the way up to the new year? I would have thought they might have learned their lesson from the backlash that was sent their way for doing this to the community. I can't quite remember what it was, but it was something in the region of almost a month without any game updates to Vanguard and Warzone. That is just completely outrageous, and I feel like they haven't learned their lesson from that. They're still going to drop this game, hope it's okay, hope everyone buys it and enjoys it, and then just take profits all over Christmas and not actually do any work. And then finally, the last issue that kind of came to my mind, number four, this is probably more of a conspiracy than a downside, but are they dropping Warzone 2 so quickly so we forget about the terrible state that they will release Modern Warfare 2 in? Now we haven't even seen proper gameplay footage for Modern Warfare 2 and we most likely won't see any until a few days before the beta releases. But is this Warzone 2 release schedule a cover up for a shambles of a game that they are planning to release? I really hope not, but it does make you think why such a fast turnaround? Why release Warzone 2 days, less than a month after Modern Warfare 2? Why would they do that? What is their plan behind that? I would love to see a logical explanation to why this is happening anyway guys those are my thoughts on the schedule leaked for modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 of course this might change but i would imagine it probably won't whenever something big like this is leaked and then you go on youtube and you see all of the youtubers which happen to be call of duty partners it's in a video then it's pretty much going to be confirmed and i do know activision have this kind of weird way of leak a little bit of information build some hype and that's the way they kind of do it. That's a well-known strategy that Activision employs. So I would imagine this is most likely going to be the case. Warzone 2 is most likely going to drop in the middle of November. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is it too early for Warzone 2? Or are you just happy to be getting a ton of new content in the next couple of weeks? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it down below. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So big love to anyone who leaves a like or a comment on the video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for staying tuned to the video. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, how-tos, class setups, and much more.